Hello everyone and welcome back to RPG World. Uh, Crown Wars time. So, I want to tell you from the beginning guys that this uh, review is not for the final product of the game. So I didn't finish the game yet. So the review is uh, for what I have played until now up to this point which is uh, chapter 3 I'm in chapter three, 3 right now in the game also uh, as I have done uh, in the past you know from other uh, games that I tested and other uh, reviews uh, I want to do something different uh, something that I myself uh, want to see in a review the real gameplay right so on youtube it's full of five ten minutes review of a lot of games but most of them are the same you know with some basic information about graphics lore gameplay etc etc only people talking and show some screenshots or some small parts of gameplay man that <laughs> that's why i want to, to show you uh, in a few minutes something that I want myself to see a real gameplay directly in in the game uh, with with real gameplay to th this is what I want to see in a review to to make a decision if I want to to buy uh, that specific game unedited uncut recording directly what the game have to offer. So today we're checking Crown Wars, the Blood Prince, which is a turn-based strategy RPG. I don't want to talk uh, too much about the story because I don't want to spoil uh, your pleasure of discovering it yourself. Uh, so basically, it's about the war between England and France, but it's more than that, believe me. It's uh, the fantasy elements are there, okay? So the dark order watching you. Okay. Now, let's get started. Uh, we'll split basically in a few parts. First, we talk about uh, the domain buildings. I don't want to show you that now. We start with the domain, okay? So, here is your domain. We have here a specific buildings. We start here with everything. The laboratory. Here you can uh, research and uh, unlock different uh, consumable that you can use in game. Different potions, bandages, poison grenade, reinforced armors to, to uh, regain your uh, armor back, etc. etc. You can upgrade the buildings, you need a specific amount of resources. By the way, here are the resources, each, which is gold, metal, leather, wood. Uh, master craftsman, a sp uh, special per uh, person that you can add on any building and you will get different bonuses. Yeah, right here. Upgrading the building, unlock a new formula. Right? A different... Uh, different consumable. Wait a second, I think the sound is, uh, is too loud, right? Okay, that was about... Uh, it's, it's basic, basically upgrade the building, unlock, uh, unlock new recipes, which you need resources and have a time, a day in game to, to unlock. The next is chapel. In the chapel, you is a place where uh, 
your uh, companions are healed after uh, a battle. So if one companion fall in battle, he will appear here and you need to use that rehabilitation. You pay a specific amount of gold and he will get healed. Right? Uh, the time is very long here, keep in mind, you need to wait a lot of days until uh, he will, uh, your companion will be completely recovered from, uh, from that damage that he get in, uh, in battle. Okay, so that's basic. You have uh, upgrade a building to unlock uh, a new slot. You start with three slots, now I have five because I upgraded to level uh, three. Yeah, and the Master Craftsman will add uh, a bonus. I had I had, I had two Master Craftsmen and both of them I put on the chapel because it's very, very important that uh, waiting time that you need to, for them to heal. A lot, a lot of days, like you can see here, a lot of days to, to get recovered. And the master craftsman add that bonus five percent reduce the cost and the time okay that's about the uh, chapel the markets simple like what you expect from a market you can buy different resources with gold you can buy uh, wood leather and the next level will be metal that I can buy, we can spend uh, gold to get the resources, we can upgrade as well to unlock the next slot and also we can add a master craftsman to increase the maximum quantity of resources for sale after the, the weekly payment for your domain and increase that with 10%. Uh, okay, the Great Hall. The Great Hall is your main hall. Yeah, if you click here, you'll see the world map. Uh, here you have a codex, a lore about the lore. You have a memorial, the fallen companion that you lost in battle uh, forever when uh, they will die for good. Because uh, from what I know until now, I think they can fall two times in battle and they, they, then you can heal them in the chapel and third time they will die for good you will lose them forever right so here will be a list with your uh, fallen companion in battle and the coat of arm it's uh, some uh, cosmetic things where you design your banner etc etc your emblem color we have a lot of customizations here, which is nice. It's nice to have it. Uh, the Great Hall, by the way, you cannot upgrade it like the other buildings. When you upgrade uh, one buildings, you you will get progress to the next level of your Great Hall. So I need to make one more upgrade and my Great Hall will be level two, which add an additional companion slot to squad. We can send out an additional squad so now i can send two parties on the map to do missions and, I will, and when uh, i will be level two i can add one more party to my one more squad which will be a big plus uh the forge every class have a uh, different armor and uh, can use different weapons in the forge you can upgrade every armor for uh, every class this is what i upgraded for example the alchemist class i upgraded the armor to the next level the beast master uh, every class you can upgrade manually one by one to next level i upgraded to level two for example that armors uh, then i need to upgrade to level three i need to upgrade to level four for every upgrade you have uh, require materials and forge level 3 for example to upgrade again I need so first I need to upgrade the forge uh, the master craftsman add uh, reduce uh, the time for the research because look at that you need 24 days to upgrade this armor to the next level yeah to upgrade uh, the forge as well you need resources yeah and the same thing for weapons every single weapon 
uh, you can upgrade with a specific amount of resources and the time the days in game so if, if you upgrade this reinforced hammer you will get the accuracy from 0% to 5% also increase the damage and movement by the swan that's about the forge you can upgrade all the weapons and armor the barracks we leave for later the prison is a nice uh, feature i can say for the game we have a specific mission where uh, you can capture a person and uh, if you manage to capture that person you will get a different and you add in the prison you get a different bonuses for example for this one you'll get uh, duelist and beastmaster have uh, and the animal animals have the movement increased by one this one uh, medium armor points uh, increased by one uh bonuses don't stack this one is better have two bonuses yeah increase the experience by companions who are the same class as the prisoner yeah if you have a companion that is the same class with this one you will get uh you get more he will get more experience in battle and also give you 50, 75 uh, more gold when you get your weekly payment for from your domain you can upgrade to get more slots as well. You can add a, a craftsman guy and you will get a bonus of 10% uh, in gold increase. So this is about uh, about your uh, your domain. This is the building that you have in the domain. It's simple and efficient, I think. Okay, about the companions. You have one more building here, which is barracks <laughs> the companions we have a different classes yeah here from uh, the game have five classes in game from alchemist beastmaster crusader duelist and uh, flyer flyer which is uh, an archer every uh, the barrack as well by the way you can upgrade to the next level and you can when you upgrade the barrack you can recruit a higher level companion and increase the maximum number number now like as you can see i have a maximum number of 22 and uh, when you upgrade the barrack you this number will increase yeah and the recruitment as well i can have uh, will appear here eight people eight companions to recruit uh, which are different level depend of the level of your barracks uh, next week when will be the refresh for payment and everything will appear another eight here if i upgrade the barracks will be more than eight i think i'm, I'm sure i'm not think uh, okay about the classes uh, we have the alchemist which it's a range class and also work as a healer yeah every class have a uh, different stats yeah the hp power accuracy critical reflexes movement yeah and the equipped equipped weapon the damage range movement etc here we have two consumable slots that we can uh, add for the alchemist the potion this is the shackle to capture a prisoner and here is the weapon you can train uh, the weapon for uh, look you see the difference here if I train I will get accuracy from 100% to 105% yeah okay uh, here you have the skill tree for the alchemist the skill tree for every class it's uh, basically uh, it's very basic you can choose when you level up from option A or option B. Yeah, we can choose this one or this one. Level 3, the same thing. This one or this one. Level 4 as well. Yeah, I will over the mouse to every skill. And if you want to see more details, you can pause, uh, pause the, the video to see every skill for every class. I will show you to have an idea. The alchemist specific uh, uh, 
skulls, yeah, uh, the fire flask, the healing flask, and uh, a better fire flask. Here is a weapon that the class can equip, you can switch, you can... Every weapon, by the way, every weapon for every class have uh, different uh, abilities, right? So the crossbow have this and uh, the bow, if we equip him with a bow, have different, uh, different abilities. The consumable, what to have on, uh, on stock right now and you can equip. Yeah, when you unlock more uh, consumable will appear here and every time when you start a mission you can switch and replace the consumable that every companion had in the pocket yeah here is the progress the weapon mastery yeah for every weapon to unlock new new skill you need to upgrade but they get experience when they fight if they if this girl fights have more battles with uh, a crossbow they will get by the full progress to that uh, weapon okay this is the alchemist the beast master as well it's uh it's a beast master a guy that have a beast a dog or a bear the stats for them separate stats for uh, the beast master and for the beast this is the those are the armor that they have the weapons that they can equip it's i i really love the the beast master it's a very good uh, melee class i use them only melee i don't use them as a range because you have a dedicated rangers you know the alchemist and the, the flyer the archer so it have no sense to use uh, a beast master as a range class yeah you can switch the weapons you have consumable as well you have uh, some uh, cosmetic thing appearance animal appearance by the way uh, as a thing that i don't want to forget you can rename every single companion in game for roleplay purpose uh, the skill tree for the beast master i will uh, over everything to see yourself if you want yeah we have a very nice skills for the beast master one of my favorite class have a, this teamwork is very good if you are if the enemy is in range when you attack with the beast master and uh, if the beast your beast is in range when you attack with the beast master you will get a bonus attack from uh, from the beast which is very nice basically it's a free attack the weapons that can equip you can have any combination for example example if i don't want the axe and the dagger i can have uh, two dagger you can equip a dagger or uh, you can have to have two dagger on this light shield as well it's up to you consumable the same and the weapon progress as well the longer if you use a weapon you get the upgrade in that skill okay crusader the crusader basically is your uh, main tank yeah the weapon progress is here the consumable as well the same can use different weapons uh, I, you will tend to use the same weapon for everyone because like we, in the like you said uh, you, we talked earlier in the forge uh, I, I told you it's a very long wait time and very expensive uh, to upgrade the specific weapon and for example if I upgrade the sword you will tend to use the sword for all of them because it's already upgraded later in the game when you get all the upgrades you can for sure you, you will switch the the weapon it's, it's up to you but uh, at the beginning you will get stuck with one weapon of course i can switch i can use the the mace with him but uh, you see i have only the first skill with a sword i have that uh, i have two skills because he already get progress on the sh on the sword the skill trees for the crusader the verdict protector fervor 
very good because he heal. You have some taunt options. Like I said, it uh, will be your uh, main tank in game. Yeah, you can train as well if you have money, which is expensive. Yeah, the next one is the Duelist. It's a pure damage dealer, du Duelist. Yeah, it's best critical. Uh, Duelists what have uh, more than other class, you have two set of weapons, so for example during the battle if you want uh, off tank, if you need one off tank for, to survive better, you can switch to uh, sword and shield if you want, it's up to you. The skill tree for Duelist, I will over here for you to to see all the skills, to have an idea if you want. By the way, I think the max level is level 7 from what I see here. The weapons, uh, it's, it's very versatile, the, the Duelist. You can have a lot of combinations of, uh, of, water, of uh, weapons with them. Very, very useful to have all the time one Duelist in, in combat. The consumable and the weapon uh, mastery. The next one is the player, which I think is the best range damage dealer uh, class in, in the game. The weapon mastery here, which for sure will be a bow, consumable, up to slow to equip. Add this weapon skills. And the skills here, Caltrops, Lone Wolf for more critical. Over all the skills, if anyone want to see them. And as well you can train them. Uh, okay, so. I think we cover almost everything here in the character progression and uh, the details about every single class in the game. As I said we have five classes and every class have a different uh, abilities and every weapon that they equip have different skills. Okay, let's uh, now what I want to show you. talk about uh, a little bit about the mission and uh, we'll sh I will show you a little bit uh, the combat, real combat in, in, in game, in mission. Uh, here we have the main faction. Uh, this is lore related, this corruption. Yeah, the Dark Order is a specific lore related action I, I like i said i don't want to enter too much in these details because i will do a review for the gameplay not for the lore don't want to spoil myself i don't want to hear the whole story of one game before to start a game but the gameplay i want to see i'm interested to see if i if i uh, enjoy it I, it's on my taste that game uh, the problem with the corruption, when one faction get uh, corruption, they will get some bonuses, which is bad for you, because for you, this is a buff for them, a debuff for you. Have sense, right? And to purge the faction, yeah, basically you will choose from your companion and add here and you will... Uh, you will send them. Here will appear the objective. Eliminate the target, lead your companion to the extraction area. Uh, this is here is the main mission, right? This is the main mission. Recommended companion level 4 and recommended upgrades, refine, which I don't have any refine. In order to do that, keep in mind the game is started to be very challenging now. The first two chapters was decent okay sometimes easy 
I'm playing on normal. But now it's very challenging. Sometimes impossible. I did one mission which was impossible to do that, that mission. And regarding that, I have a complaint. I think it's that mission that I'm talking about, I think was very unbalanced, you know? Uh, it's that I don't know depends on the style depends on the player skills here maybe uh, but for my taste was I, I I think was a little bit unbalanced every mission have a different objective the small icons here are side missions so basically you can grind grind this mission you can farm this mission to get progress towards the main mission yeah, every side mission had different objective. You can see the difficulty and what's the objective for that specific uh, mission. And different events will appear here. Look, the corruption is still here. Yeah, this one don't have corruption. Track down and eliminate the... You have every mission have a different objective. And when you pass the time, yeah, this is my party which coming back from the mission and you see so another another side mission appeared here free the prisoner and eliminate the guards around it and escort the prisoner to the extraction area that's you saw that one disappear because this side mission have a available for another nine days journey time and how long it's available appear another one here score the target of the extraction area yeah some of them are uh, this side mission are repetitive honestly you know uh, most of the, the objectives for uh, most of them are almost the same are a lot of objectives but the longer you play uh, you, you know most of them you already know what to do in that specific objective okay let's uh, for example let's start one battle we'll start we'll choose this one then the companions you can choose here which companion you you want to send in the in the mission choose one alchemist yeah a beastmaster a crusader and uh, a duelist this is what i have available all these are available now the authors or are coming back from the author mission or are in a rehabilitation to heal or are waiting in rehabilitation to heal to get space because like you saw i have only five slots so when they are ready i can add another one it's look at them then you press continue you can choose here what uh, equipment to have let me switch that one to one shackle because sometimes we will be people to capture in the mission yeah the weapons that they have you can buy directly from this screen consumable what you unlock already and yeah and the companions and now they are on the way here then you pass the time the author guys are coming back this one are going up now i can send i can send one more group of companions if i want yeah but i don't have people ready only only one available i don't have companions to send because they are healing. This is an event. Some event happened. You know, the corruption here is zero. And the character in the French faction being a bonus to health and willpower. Which is bad for me. Critical. Oh, man. Oh, look at that it's 
some people completed the rehabilitation and during that you can go here and during the, your way to objective you can add people here on the rehabilitation screen okay in one day i can add another guy here and now resetted here the the market and new people on the recruitment window they don't have any level three now keep going And boom, start the battle. <clears throat> the loading screen is a little bit too long sometimes. Okay, I need to free that to prisoner. You can see the objective here. Free the prisoner and eliminate the guards around it. You will move now. I think honestly this is the easiest mission. Always keep your beast close to the beast master for the bonus. Yes. It's a a tip. My blade is yours. You have the cover system like in any turn based game. Now I don't have what to do and we can end the turn. Understood. Yeah, we switch him to full damage. You see, the duel is we can switch the set weapon in combat. Sometimes uh, the enemies are moving, are patrolling, or have different activities in a in a combat. Depends on the mission. Oh, you see, this guy, I can capture this guy, which is good. Uh, yes. I will check now who I has the sense. shackle equipped. So the alchemist, I need to be close with this guy after I will do some damage and I can capture this guy. Consider it done. Uh,
I'll get in position. At your command. On my way. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. You mean with a little bit HP. It's okay. I made a mistake now. You know why I made a mistake? Because, uh, don't benefit from the teamwork. Ready to go. Yes. And the turn, we can do anything now. Those nice doggy. Kill my dog. Yes. Yes. Nice cinematics. That's a free attack from your dog. I'm ready. Alive. I don't want to kill this guy. next turn I want him to capture ready to go uh At your command. Let me try to capture this guy. On the move. Boom. He's mine. 
And now I need to go to the command. extraction points with this guy. On the way, 100% will appear on my way more uh, enemies yes on my way i will keep the dog close yes. to the beast master we have 15 tars left before the defeat yes. so 15 tars i need to be there understood There are more enemies here. Okay, guys. So, you have an idea about uh, Kumba as well now, about the uh, gameplay. I don't want to to keep you here too much. This was is only a small review about most of the aspect in the game. Uh, so, some conclusion about the game. Turn Wars is a turn-based combat. Have a turn-based combat uh, where you plan your moves carefully. Uh, you exploit the the enemy weaknesses and uh, uh, weakness. And the, the, the graphic is decent. I like it. It's I don't know. It's something like War Tales level or something like that. It's okay. It's decent. It's, this kind of game. I don't think the graphic is the most important aspect of the game. Uh, you have a diverse, diverse uh, troop cursor. Uh, you choose from a variety of if you needs. You have different every faction. By the way, when you start the campaign, you have you chose a family from a faction, and they have a different you needs. Uh, every class have a unique strengths and special ability. Yeah, to make your uh, you have that uh, freedom of uh, make your party with variety of classes you can make a full party of uh, uh, crusaders if you want or a beast master you can have basically four companions and four beasts in a in a battle it's up to you uh, resource management yeah you can strategically uh, allocate your resources you can choose what building to upgrade in what which order it's up to you to upgrade your your castle and uh, maintain your domain prosperity yeah uh, the story related is that thing to discover the mysteries around the, the order yeah uh, you na navigate or the, the complexity of the med medieval politics it's the politics have a, a big role in in, uh, in the gameplay uh, yeah have a decent open world exploration that's the that's i don't know maybe will be the map will be bigger when you advance later in the game i don't talk what i don't know but it's it's okay a little bit repetitive that uh, side missions from what I played until now. Uh, yeah, character development, it's okay. The skill tree is pretty basic, but with all that uh, different weapons, with different skills for every weapon, you can have a variety of uh, combinations. Unexpected events happened. When the pass, when the time going appear different events on the map, which uh, remove a little bit that repetitive things. <laughs> yeah. So in conclusion, uh, I think uh, Crown Wars will cover a variety of uh, of players with that strategy elements, with domain management. And also the, uh, the turn base combat, another class of players which can cover the game. Yeah, it's an interesting combination resource management, domain uh, upgradings, map exploration, advancing in the story, turn base combat. Yeah, it's okay. 
will buy the game, that's your uh, decision. I don't want to influence you to buy or not the game. I will tell you my opinion about the game, which I think is a good game. Yeah, I, I'm i enjoying, it's my kind of games. It's not a Baldur's Gate 3 because it's not a triple A game, it's a indie game. Uh, more than decent for sure. Not in, wow, it's the best game in the world, but it's not the worst for sure as well. So, thank you very much guys for watching, remember, uh, the whole gameplay until now we start uh, we already started a series which i will upload at the release time uh, on uh, on the youtube channel episodes yeah uh, this will be the review will be the first then we started with episode one two three the whole play playthrough until this point and i will continue if i will see interest about uh, about the game Comment below what you think about the game, your opinion, like, subscribe if you enjoy the content. We have hundreds of small indie games that we tested on the channel and uh, a lot of playthroughs that running from War Tales, Divinity, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, uh, Zoria, Age of Shattering. In time, all of them will be done. Thanks again. Like, subscribe if you enjoy the content and see you next time.